So we've got a few Forza Motorsport leaks to talk about today. Potential new body kits appearing in the game like we discussed about Horizon 5. The new track is supposedly leaked. It's going to be coming in Update 7 and a few more bits and bobs as well. Let's touch on all that. Now we've had a new hotfix this week to add to Update 5. Update 5 is the update we're currently in. Now if you haven't had a chance to look through the full Update 5 changelog of everything that was fixed, I'm going to really quickly scroll through the changelog now. It was a pretty big update and I've already seen mixed opinions on if it was good or bad. Some people's games are still broken. Really quite strange. But obviously the latest thing to hit the game is the hotfix. It came out just yesterday, I believe, on the 23rd of February. We have deployed a Forza Motorsport hotfix to address a free play crash and alleviate an issue where PC frame rate could stutter and lock values below 60 FPS in multiplayer. Um, here's the full changelog of that specific update. It is out right now. Go and get it. So, the next new track. We have already been told that update 6 will not have a new track, which is a bit disappointing. We've had a track in pretty much every update so far. Update 6 is not having that. In update 6, we are getting the car progression changes, as we already know about, but no new track. The next new track is, however, rumoured to be Brands Hatch. Over on GT Planet, there is apparently a reference in files for Brands Hatch in the update. Now, just because we found it in the files doesn't mean that it is next, because there are a lot of tracks missing from the game. However, the similar thing happened to Yasmarina and Hockenheim. We sort of saw them coming based on what was found in the files, and if it's the same concept now, Brands Hatch will probably, possibly, be in Update 7. I've not seen this guy, I've not seen this particular guy say anything else on this forums before, however, it looks to be quite a credible guy, so I believe what he says about Brands Hatch being found. Now, there are lots more tracks missing from the game. We've still got Sabring, Monza, Prague, Imola, Bathurst, Long Beach, Road Atlanta, Top Gear Test Track, there's loads more to come, so it wouldn't surprise me if we still do get a new track in almost every update, but the fact that we're already skipping one, it might not be literally every update from now on, maybe one in every two, but there are a lot of tracks missing, so I hope we see them. Now, the body kit leaks that I spoke about. Now, we have spoken about these in my Forza Horizon 5 video lately, as it kind of does correlate between the two now. But because these were found in the motorsport files, these are definitely more motorsport specific. So TGR55 had a snoop through and he found a logo for Team Penske. I think that's how you pronounce it. I just Googled it, that is how you pronounce it. Um, so that logo was found in the files. Now this is an IndyCar team, if you are unaware. This has got a few people excited as are we getting IndyCars in the game? Um, a specifically a Team Penske version of an IndyCar. Now, I can imagine how licenses work. We wouldn't get IndyCar added to the game and then all of the IndyCars are available to drive. It doesn't really work like that. It's usually only one specific team that would license the car for us, similar to how the Red Bull F1 car is in the crew and no other F1 car, just the Red Bull is in there. Now, it would be a fantastic thing to see the Team Penske uh, IndyCar in Forza Motorsport. However, this doesn't really guarantee that. Kelpie D has a good opinion that on Ponsky and the Penske logo, he thinks that we may not only get parks for them, but also cars. Previous Forza Horizon 5 leaks have had these mentioned. The 1988 Penske PC-17 Chevrolet, the 1994 Penske PC-23, and the 2013 Chevrolet Penske Dallara DW12. Any of these cars coming to Forza Motorsport might be the reason that the logo is in the files, not necessarily because we're getting any Anything IndyCar related, which is a bit of a shame, but these cars are cool in their own right. And then he leaves a graphic at the bottom showing what Team Penske actually covers. You know, Team Penske doesn't just cover an IndyCar team, there's a lot of other things that it would cover, and that logo could cover any of the following things, if that makes any sense. What else was on the leak? Because it wasn't just that. We have DMC was leaked. Now, this is not the DeLorean Motor Company. This is the logo for DMC Carbon. Now, DMC Carbon is one of many that we're going to speak about today. A kind of aftermarket body kit brand manufacturer. You know, they do carbon fiber bits, carbon fiber upgrades and add-ons for cars like carbon fiber bonnets, splitters, diffusers, side skirts, all that kind of stuff. And DMC, the logo has been found in the file. Now again, this could mean many things. This could mean we're gonna get DMC body kits in the game, carbon body kits added for any of the cars that they do body kits for, along with four other things as well. Future Carbon Design, Carbell Carbon, Artwork Body Shop, and Back to the Future. Now, Future Carbon Design, as you guessed, is another manufacturer exactly like DMC that make these aftermarket body parts. Carvel Carbon is another one that did do exactly the same thing. And Artwork Body Shop, again, 
do the exact same thing. Now these were only found in text strings, there were no logos or anything found for these in particular, but references to them have now been found. Now Turn 10 Studios do often dabble in body kit areas, hopefully we see some of these carbon ones come to the game for cars like the McLaren 720S, some BMWs, some Audis, they're quite big for carbon body kits and carbon additions. So that would be great to see. Now the one that's a bit confusing is a text string reference to Back to the Future. I really have no idea what that could translate to in terms of in-game content. Back to the Future and maybe the Back to the, Lu Back to the Future car? Maybe? I don't really know what else it could be other than that. We'll have to wait and see what else pops up. We're just guessing into thin air there. And obviously at the bottom he mentions that there is some correlation between Horizon 5 leaks and Forza Motorsport leaks, which is why we spoke about this from Horizon 5 video. But yeah, I'll be getting a load of body kits coming to the game. Sounds pretty cool. Now speaking of body kits, the 2015 488 GTB body kit modification has been removed from Forza Motorsport permanently. Now I've read that it's not actually the 488 GTB, it's the 458 that had the body kit removed. They actually writ it wrong and didn't bother editing it which was a bit weird anybody who had this upgrade already installed it will be updated to be stock now as a goodwill gesture because of this unfortunate removal all the players in the game have been gifted 2020 Acura ARX 05 DPI race car now just do not get annoyed at Forza Motorsport for doing this it was not their fault if you want to blame anyone blame Ferrari it is 100% Ferrari's fault for this Ferrari have obviously wanted this body kit to be retracted from the game and obviously turn 10 have had to comply it's their fault not turn 10s so don't give them any stick now another leak that i've seen going around and i'm gonna touch on it uh, i don't want to scare you all by this but someone noticed that there is a reference to a 300,000 credits dlc token or dlc package over on the steam db now many 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 months ago all of the car pass cars were leaked on the steam db so it is quite accurate and now we've had a potential entry of forza motorsport 300,000 credits now this has got a lot of people screaming microtransactions no way are we getting microtransactions into the game and we've seen a evidence of a 300,000 credit option for a microtransaction being added to steam now when i actually looked this up myself because i've got to confirm that these are real i could not see this entry on the list but i could actually match the app id to another entry that was on the list that has now been renamed to forza motorsport promo item so again this isn't screaming that microtransactions are going to come don't worry it might just be a one-off that they're about to do for some reason or whatever that we won't know it's none of our business really at the moment right now all it says is promo item so don't worry it doesn't seem like my coach saxons are coming that, that would be weird if it was let me know what your opinion would be if we do get microtransactions come to the game and also let me know how the game is running for you it seems to be slight mixed opinions still it's running good for some it's running crap for others that's it for today guys let me know what you think of this in the comment section below are you excited for any potential body kits and what do you think the back to the future thing means leave a like if you've enjoyed and i'll see you all later